right into it. Let's get the main events weighed in first, and then we'll proceed with the undercard. So I'm going to send it over to my partner now, Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to officially welcome you all to the weigh-in for HBO's Boxing After Dark, being brought to you by Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated. This bout being presented in association with Gary Shaw Productions, La Cerveza Tecate Con Carácter, and of course, being broadcast worldwide on HBO Sports. This bout, 12 rounds or less for the vacant WBO Junior Welterweight title. First on the scale, ladies and gentlemen, he hails from one of the boxing's hotbeds, Carolina, Puerto Rico. 22 and 1, 14 of those victories coming by way of KO. We have Tomas Dulorme across the ring from Omaha, Nebraska, one of the fastest rising stars in the sport. The reigning WBO 135 pound world champion and also the 2014 Boxer of the Year, Terrence Bud Crawford. Crawford Dulorme, 12 rounds for the vacant WBO junior welterweight title. First weighing in, ladies and gentlemen, from Carolina, Puerto Rico, Tomas Dulorme. 139.2 pounds, 139.2. The official weight for Tomas Dulorme. Next on the scale, the reigning 135-pound world champion, the Boxer of the Year 2014. <laughs> Moving up in weight class for the vacant WBO Junior Welterweight World Championship, Terrence Bud Crawford on the scale. One hundred thirty nine point eight pounds, one three nine point eight. We have a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Twelve rounds for the vacant WBO Junior Welterweight Championship of the World. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have your tickets in hand quite yet, College Park Center is the venue tomorrow night, Arlington, Texas. One of the fastest rising stars in the sport, Terrence Bud Crawford, putting his undefeated record on the line against the fighter from the island, which has produced a tremendous amount of great fighters, Carolina Puerto Rico, Tomas Dulorme, Dulorme Crawford. Our main event tomorrow night, 12 rounds or less for the vacant WBO Junior Welterweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, the weights are official. All remains is to get these two fighters face to face in the ring tomorrow evening. College Park Center is the venue being broadcast worldwide on HBO. All right. I'm joined now. I'm joined now by Terrence Crawford, the 2014 Fighter of the Year. Very good year for you in 2014. Now it's 2015. I know you want to get this year started right. What do you got to do tomorrow night against Thomas Delorme to walk away victorious and the new junior welterweight champion? I just got to be me, be myself. You know, I just felt like I got the tools, the ability, everything that it takes to be a champion in another division. Delorme's team talking about how much bigger he is. This is your first fight at 140. You just stood right there to him toe to toe. Did he seem that much bigger to you? Not at all, not at all. Not at all. You know, I feel good. I feel great, strong, you know, I feel physically strong. So was, I'll be ready. I know there's a lot of talking going on up here, and you're not one to talk very much. You just like to do your business in the ring. For everybody that's here to watch your message for your fans. Just come, 
tomorrow we're going to see what all that talking is going to be about. All right. Thank you, Terrence. We'll see you tomorrow. Let's bring over Thomas Delorme. Thomas? Thomas? All right, Thomas Delorme here. Now, Thomas, everyone said, and everyone knows 2014 was Terrence Crawford's year. You said yesterday 2015 will be Thomas Delorme's year. That starts with your fight tomorrow night. What do you got to do to win that junior welterweight title and become victorious? Basically, you said that the year was the year of Crawford and the 2015 was the year of yours. Are you ready for the year 2015, which is now your year? Yo estoy listo para que el año 2015 sea mi año. Yo voy a traer Crawford y lo voy a hacer triza mañana. I'm ready. This is my year. The 2015 is the Dulorme year. I'm ready, and I'm going to rip him apart tomorrow. <laughs> now, you talked about representing all the Latinos in this fight. Your country of Puerto Rico, your mom is Dominican. What would it mean for you and Puerto Rico to be the new champion? Dice que vas a representar a todos los latinos en esta pelea. Tu mamá es dominicana, vives en Puerto Rico. ¿Cómo te sientes tú representando a la raza, a los hispanos en esta pelea de mañana? Yo me siento bien contento de representar a todos los latinos, a toda la raza, a todos los mexicanos, a todos los boricuas. Y estoy bien contento de estar aquí en Dallas con los cow Cowboys. Estoy muy contento de estar aquí. Vengo representando a todos los hispanos, a los mexicanos. En inglés, basically, all right. I'm sorry, English version now. I'm very happy to be here. I love Texas, and I'm here representing all the Hispanics, the Mexicans, the Puerto Ricans, the Dominican, and it's not, not only gonna be my victory, it's the victory of all the Hispanics in the United States and worldwide. Right. Thank you guys, thank you so much. See you tomorrow night. All right, we're gonna continue with the rest of the weigh-ins now. I'm gonna send it back over to Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, that is our main event tomorrow night. 12 rounds for the vacant WBO Junior Welterweight title, a heated scene here on stage. It all goes down tomorrow night at the College Park Center here in Arlington. Once again, if you don't have your tickets in hand quite yet, make sure you get them. A tremendous night of boxing here in the Dallas Metroplex.